there. Hello, my dear friend. Gosh, it's been forever. It's nice to see you. Hello. I keep up with you on social media. I know. I, well, actually, I can't keep up with you. You're all over on social media. Oh, child. Now you just pay people to do that for you. <laughs> yeah. well, Deb, am I right? Did we meet at Clemson or was just one of our meetings there? Did we meet before that? You know, I, I'm going to have to say yes. And I believe we just connected as two Southern women with a lot of great stories. And then you were so kind Jane, to help me get into the National Speakers Association. And believe it, remember you took me to a conference a hundred years ago oh my and you gosh. showed me the ropes. You've been such a great friend and mentor through the years. I can't thank you enough. Oh, goodness. Well, listen, I have loved watching you and the connection that I think I connected with you initially was through the Miss South Carolina program where you were coaching <laughs> girls. And uh, we just sort of tapped on that a little bit, but um, tell me how that went. I know that's in your past, it but is. of course, you know, I got to bring it up. Look, is this sad or what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and you know, the, and the funny thing is I would never be a contestant. I, a tomboy, played basketball, but I ended up being a rock star interview coach because yes, I love history. I love politics. I can explain it well to young people. And I probably for a number of years might have been the top coach in the Southeast. And I had so many winners. I had everybody from uh, one of the very first Miss Rodeos this side of the Mississippi and then Miss Rodeo National. So then all the way to Miss South Carolina, USA and all the others. And I love the kids. You know, if it weren't for the kids and realizing they need friends like us, normal people who can truly help them excel. And, and I just fell in love. And as you know, the pageant changed through the years. And as it did, you know, my girls weren't interested and I got a little tired of it. I didn't teach the walk and the wave. I'll leave that up to you. I explained <laughs> where Afghanistan was. And, you know, after a while, that got over too. <laughs>